All right, this is an exciting time for us with uh, Star Wars Unlimited because we're building our first uh, decks ever in this game. And for me, my first deck building experience ever. Yes, yes. So uh, I'm going in blind here. Yeah. With limited experience. No, I think you'll be good. I mean, you had minimal questions, so I feel like that was good. <laughs> and because uh, you picked up Just on pick it right 50 away. cards. Just pick 50 cards. Any 50. Simple. Although it turns out there's certain ones you can't pick or else you have to pay more money for them. The symbols do have to match. <laughs> Which was a struggle. Uh, one match. Yeah. No, it's just, just apparently all one. of the symbols have to match. Yes. Yes, they do. So we, we learned some lessons already. Yes, we did. Um, so yeah, this is our first experience deck building. So what we're going to do is we'll drop down to the table first and we'll kind of just give a brief overview of what we picked and why, like roughly to, to kind of figure it out. Yes, because I definitely have detailed explanations about why I picked certain cards. Uh, I know for at least one Nothing you do, to do with pictures. It. No, that, that's fine. So. <laughs> it could work. So, anyway, all right, let's drop down the table and start checking out our decks. All right, do you want to go first? Or do you well, want I was me just going to go gonna say the real question is who's going to go first? I'll go uh, through it first. Oh, okay. I'll go through it first. I was so, going to offer. I picked Han Solo as my leader. Wait. Um, we were going to play Kylo versus Rey. Oh, yeah, we were. <laughs> No, well, that's fine. Whatever. We were just deck building next to each other for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and I had no idea that you picked the wrong leader. I that was the whole point. <laughs> no, I even told you too. I was like, oh, I'm going to be Han Solo. I know. I remember that now. And it just did yeah. not click because yeah. I was too worried about my then own Then we'll selection. just have to play again at some time. <laughs> so disappointing. What do you mean is that disappointing? I'm, I'm Han Solo. I wanted I'm Rey happy. versus Kylo. Enemies you, to lovers. But you have him in your deck. So it'd be weird if I was fighting myself. So. That is absurd. It, okay. it doesn't work with the meta. Anyway. Oh, here we go. Uh, so there, I have Han Solo. I'm not rebuilding it. Now they're fighting against each other. Yeah. For that who's the best. That doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Han is the best. <laughs> So I have Han with Navarro City. Um, it's a green deck, so it's yellow, green, and white cards. So I have Chopper in. Um, basically, some of my cheap cards are Chopper, Jawa, Scavenger. Um, Saboteur is the Jawa, and um, Chopper, you get to hopefully discard some cards from some people. You're being real detailed. Um, yeah, Criminal Muscle, cheaper. Then I'll, I'll hurry up. All right, we have Cloud Rider is cheap. Uh, Crafty Smuggler is cheap. Leia. Which I thought would oh, make sense fun. with Han. That makes me happy yeah. That you picked her. Gamorian guards is a little bit expensive. We have Chewie because uh, he's got to have his friend. <gasps> I also have regular Han as Ooh, well. He's seven. Yeah, he's really expensive. He's, I have mostly ones and twos because I'm thinking running cheap cards. We have okay. uh, a couple upgrades to put on some attack and life. Uh, Evacuate's going to be one of my bigger events, I think. Which I was going to say that was our fancy card. Our fancy card. Or our, our showcase or legendary or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, I remember thinking like. <laughs> It's just evacuate. Yeah. But no, because I'm, I'm hoping if you get a big jump on me, I can just return everything to your hand. That and you have to kind of so start fun. from scratch. Then we have our air stuff, which I have Mining Guild uh, TIE Fighter. Millennium Falcon. Two different Millennium Falcons, because these are the only Ooh. Millennium Falcons we own. They're okay. One's a legendary, one's unique. Um, huh. So I'm excited for them. So I put both of them in, mainly because of Han. Uh, another TIE Fighter. Wait, wait. Is that too many TIE Fighters? One, two. Oh, no, no, the right mountain top Uh Cartel Turncoat, some more space stuff. Now some green space. One expensive green one because I was like, why not? <laughs> and then some more units that are kind of cheaper except for a giant walker, which I thought would be fun. Oh, that's cool. If I be able to do that. And then Frozen and Carbonite. I felt like obviously. I had to do. Yeah, obviously. Even though I'm we not. haven't gotten the token quite yet. No, no, no. It's but on I its just, way. I felt, I felt it was more important to not make a good deck but make a somewhat thematic deck with Han. So. I mean, yeah, you did a great job of that. Yeah. I, I don't really have anything that makes it thematic to ray so well you kind of do with one person so that's true I, my one card in there was the one i was most excited about mm -hmm. that directly relates to ray i thought i was going to be fighting against him but apparently that's not true okay so i i really wanted to play ray so we've got blue and white on her card and then i just randomly picked a different color um which was red so i picked the spice mines for that so let's see i don't they're not really organized into any sort of scenario these are a lot of my red cards i guess so um I picked ones and twos, and then every... Oh, so, okay, this is the card that I was obviously most excited about. What? Oh, I thought you saw a spider. No. I'm sorry, I'm still jump-scaring from oh the Oh, my gosh. Look at that Kylo Ren. Yeah. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> I really hope I get to play him. That would be exciting. And I thought this one was fun, too, where, like, if a base has 15 or more damage on it, you can ready this unit. Based on my previous SWU experiences, I typically have a lot of damage on my base. Yeah. So I thought that could be helpful, yeah, because sure. I can just... I'm guessing... Oh, because when I'm playing him, I can play him late in the game and then just be able to attack right away. So that would be really nice. A lot of mine have grit, which is kind of interesting. 
um, where basically the unit gets the plus one for each damage on it. So the more damage it has, the more you can um, do, like, attack back, I guess. Um, yeah, so that was my red stuff. Oh, wait, I added... Here are my space guys, so I wanted a couple space men. I started out with six and realized I had some red and black symbols, so I had to take those away because mm. I do not have the black cards. Yeah. <laughs> so I added some new red space people in there. Nothing too crazy. This one I like that is when defeated you get to deal damage to a unit or base because I know I'm gonna, I know my space units are just gonna get defeated. Sure. So. Yeah. Um, my white cards. Let's see. They're. Mm -hmm. I tr oh, I also I tried to pick a decent amount of rebel cards because I had a couple different cards that um, have, like, rebel connections to each other. So I was trying for that with, like, the white and the blue cards. And then I wanted a couple sentinels because those have been helpful yeah, in the past. Those are good. In the blue deck. I've had Cargo, Jugg Cargo Juggernaut, I feel like, so many times. I've never actually played it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping I can actually get that out there. Um, oh yeah, my moisture farmers. I just remember when we were opening our decks, we got so many moisture farmers, and they basically just let you, like, restore health. I'm mm. guessing that restore two can be anywhere? Like, it doesn't necessarily say restore two to your base. Uh, when this unit attacks, heal damage from your base equal to the restore value. Oh, okay, so it would be to my base. So they attack for nothing, and yeah. restore your base. Basically so. just a healing scenario. Yeah. So I have two of those in there. Um, oh yeah, here's another one where, like, Rebel units get plus one while this guy is out. Mm. Um, if you it's a rebel unit, you get extra things. Uh, I got a couple droids because I was excited to have some droids in my deck. So I have C3PO, and I think yeah, R2D2 is in there, and I had okay. one other one as well. So so yeah, um, I feel like a lot of my costs are two to three. So we'll see how that goes because I'm hoping once I get up to four or five resources, I'll be able to play like two at a time, mm. maybe like an extra one or zero cost thing in there. So okay. Right. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I get to now shuffle all of these together. Yep. Make sure you shuffle them real good too. Yeah, okay. You might want to give yourself Definitely a little space. Gonna happen. With that token thing. Um, yeah. So I think we both kind of went lower cost. I mean, lower cost is obviously good, generally, because like, I feel like again, if you don't start off somewhat strong, like it's just it's, it's so be hard to catch up. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, especially if you're you're getting a sentinel out there or whatever, yeah. uh, to help guard the base. So. It shall be interesting. What's Ray's ability? So she can give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. Okay. And a lot of mine had... Is power the red thing in the bottom? Yes. Okay. So a decent amount of mine had had lower power numbers because they could either like heal or do other things. So by giving that like plus one, plus one stat line, like my moisture farmers could start attacking. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Which would be helpful. And then they would have like a five or six health. Yeah. Which would be very hard to defeat them. So, okay. I mean, yeah, if I could sure. keep healing with them, that would be great. But we'll see what we draw. Because there is the luck of the draw involved. There is. Some What's luck. yours? Put a card from your hand into play as a resource and ready it. Yes. And at the end, start the next action phase, defeat a resource you control. So, I don't really have anything oh. that triggers the defeated resources. I feel like those cards are supposed to do that off of, but I don't have any. But it will let me kind of put some more resources in the pay for things that are maybe too expensive. So you get like plus one for a round and then it kind of goes away. So it goes in my discard pile. So yeah. if you like only have five resources out, but you need six, you could put a resource card down for that round specifically instead of having to wait until the next round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it lets me get out. So you could do faster. that right off the bat. Yeah, you could. Um, okay. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. So I don't, it, it's, it's, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to go great or not, but. This I have to remember, like I struggle to remember to do all of the things that are on mm. my cards. So I need to remember every single time to like give experience do tokens out. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. You know what, that just made me realize we might need more. Do we have the, um, the actual cards that give experience? Because we don't have a ton of plus one, plus one experience tokens. I think we only have two. You know why you need a ton more? Well, if I'm giving out experience tokens, is that the green ones? Because the other ones are plus two or plus three. Yeah, so one, two, three. Yeah, it's four of them. Oh, are they really? Did I just... Well, so they're plus one, plus two. Like, so oh, in the back. Yeah. That's if, clever. If you need to, I mean, take like an I HP one and a power one or okay. whatever and, and do that. That'll work. So. I'll okay. just stop the video if we need to get more. Yeah. Or, well, I'll do it. I'll just... um. Shadow up there. Um, 
I want that open though. That's fine. Um, where I have it. So. Is that allowed? No, it's fine. Yeah, okay. there was there was just like a weird shadow on it that was on the card or not on the cards, but right. Um, plus I'll just like take out your units and then. Oh yes, worry about of that, course. So, yeah. so as the younger player, I get to go first, right? Yes, that yeah, is the great. rule. All right, so we get to draw six cards to form our hand. Two, four, six. I'm nervous. And then. Ugh. Now um, if I lose, it's just all on me. It is on you. It's your fault. <laughs> no um, complaining. You may take a mulligan by shuffling your entire hand into yeah. your deck and then drawing six Restart. more. Okay. And then two more become a resource. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, no, I'm keeping this. I think I'm keeping mine, too. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then we take two uh, to put down as resources. Oh, so I put two down right away. Okay. Yeah. Oh, boy, 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 boy. I'm gonna put oh, okay, these two in the play. So I got my cargo juggernaut, and yeah. I think I'm gonna put that into play as my resource, yeah, which is kind of why I left. So the other one I have, and I have a question on this because sure. I have this card called Smuggler's Aid. So it is a smuggle card, obviously, um, and it says if this card is a resource, you may play it for its smuggle cost. So its smuggle cost is three. Yeah. So I'm gonna put it down as a resource, basically, right? Okay. So if at some point I have more resources on the table, I could choose to use three separate resources to play this card. Yes, let's look at the exact. And then I would replace this. it with the top card of my deck as a, so I don't lose a resource. So if you have a face down resource with a smuggle cost, you may pay that cost to place it. Then the top card of your deck, or then put the top yeah. card of your deck into play as a resource, exhaust it to replace it. You can exhaust a card to help pay its. You can exhaust the card to help pay its own smuggle cost. So, like, you could you could exhaust this. Oh, this account and that would count as the so one. Need two other ones. Need two oh, that's helpful. Okay, cool. Um, the other thing I would mention with that though is, is there like, a way to keep track of that? Well, you like, probably want to keep it face down, ideally, because you wouldn't want me to know that you can have that pop out at any time. Okay, the risk reward scenario is: Am I going to remember? I don't know. You versus, do I care when you know that I'm going to play that card? Like we've already discussed it. <laughs> You're aware. Yeah, you, but maybe you in the future. You don't forget things or... as easily as I do. All right, maybe I'm going to leave it up right for now, okay. and I will keep that in mind for future games. Sounds good. So since we discussed it at length, <laughs> that's going to be my second resource. Now All what right. happens? So now we play the game. Uh, so you play a card, attack with units, use an action ability, take initiative, or pass. And we just go. Uh, oh, so we don't draw more cards. We start with our four. We'll start with our, our four. Hand. Yeah. Okay. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the action phase. Um, things come in and exhausted, all that fun stuff, and then we will. Let me just make sure we do it right. Um, we will then draw cards, resource a card, and then ready everything. All right. I'm gonna use my two resources to play Gray Unit Squadron. He comes in exhausted. Yes, I didn't know that. All right. So. I am going to exhaust two to pay Leia. When played, oh. either ready a resource or exhaust a unit. I will ready a resource. Okay. I'm going to take the initiative token. Okay. Let me just oh, make sure. I have a, nope. Yep, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to play my epic act or my action. Give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. You have to pay one for it, right? What? Ah, son of a nutcracker. All right. That's good to know. All right. Uh, the There's so many rules. <gasps> All right. All right. Then I will take initiative. Okay. Right? I cannot do anything else. Yeah. Okay. Play, I want to double check the when play timing. Um, because mm. we have to play a card. Play a card. You must exhaust two of your resource when there are three. I want to see. I don't know if in the rules they have like the exact order of things. I'm pretty sure I can do what I what I just did. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Unfortunately, and of course it doesn't like have a timing chart. This is my biggest gripe with a lot of the um, like TCGs. Or well, fancy flight games in general, uh, they don't have good timing charts on things. Um, unfortunately, um, now nah, I'm pretty sure it would work that way. But if I cheat, chat can let me let us know. Yeah. But basically, because it's when it's played, so we have to first pay its cost, then play it, yeah. and then either ready a resource. I would assume I get to ready that resource. So. What would the alternative be? You couldn't ready a resource you used to pay the card. Oh, I feel like you're allowed yeah. to. All right. Because at this point, like, the timing would be, like, you paid two to play this card. 
Yeah. It's not like you play the card and then you pay two. Yeah. Like the cost comes before the action. I would say so. so I, would, yeah. I think that's fair. All, All right. right. So you get to play your card. So then we get to go in that one and put in the lieutenant, uh, the war zone war lieutenant. Zone lieutenant. Well, that's a good card and then for one cost. You're done, and then um, I will pass. Okay. So now we will draw Ready, or set, two. Draw? Is that it? Is that's, that Lorcana? That's Lorcana, yeah. <laughs> so now we will. Um, the, the rules out so we will draw two cards okay you can resource one uh, okay. card from your hand and then you ready everything up um. all right so resource that okay oh, oh my gosh you all right over there yeah, I slipped off the chair apparently you ready card all right, I'm going to put my Cantina Braggart into play as a resource. You can just do one resource, right? Not Correct. Yeah, 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 so up, we're up to one. Yeah. All of our cards. Yep. Now it is my turn. Okay. <sighs> so now I have three. Resources. If I do that and that, then I can put two extra on that one. All right, I'm gonna do. Um, pay one to play daring raid and deal two damage to a unit or a base. Okay. And I'm gonna pick. Um, Leia. No. Oh. I know. I'm sorry. I, I really wanted to say like I'm gonna pick the other guy because I really like Leia. <laughs> I didn't though. All right, my turn. Yeah. All right, I'm going to spend three to play the Millennium Falcon. It comes in ready. Now, the big thing with this is that uh, when you ready cards during the regroup phase, you have to either pay one or return the unit to your hand. Okay, when you ready cards... You... I have to pay one or return to To ready my... this card? You no, know, to keep the card. So I have to either pay one or return the unit to my hand. Oh, interesting. So he's, like, expensive. Well, and well, the idea is if he has like three damage on him, yeah. I can return him. He comes back out oh, with full life. Okay. So. so you kind of want to pay for him early on. And if he takes like a damage or two, then I'll pull him back. Gotcha. Why okay, not? I see what you mean. Huh. All right. So now I have two. What do I want to play? I don't know if I want to play that yet. Um, all right, I'm going to play, Cantina Bragger, so he is exhausted. So he has raid two. So basically he does not do any damage if he is attacked, uh, was but, it while attacking? but yeah. he gets plus two while he's attacking. So if I hit him, he does no damage back. Yeah. And then yeah. if I attack you, then I would take you out. Okay. Yeah. So those were, that was one of them. Okay. All right. So that was my action. Did? Yeah. Ow. All right. I know, right? It's slippery. Everything's falling off. <laughs> We're right. best today. I'm going to attack your thing. I'm going to deal three damage to it. To kill it? Yep. And you get and one, damage one damage back, basically? Okay. Yep. On attack. Let's go, Millennium Falcon. You're my entire strategy. Dang. I should have. Well, I guess I couldn't. Ah. If I would have. Okay. If I would have played him first, then that would have been smarter. Because I knew you had that ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have one left. Um. All right, I'm going to use my last one for R2-D2, just for funsies. So when played, you look at the top card of your deck, and you may put it on the bottom. Otherwise, leave it on top. Okay. Ooh, I think I wanted to keep him. Huh. Yeah, I will. All right, my turn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Warzone Lieutenant is going to do two damage to this guy. Okay. I get oh, zero back. Yeah. Now it's my turn. I'll keep initiative. All right, and then you I will read. pass. Okay. So then we draw two. I know what one of these is going to be. Ah, for getting all my space units right at the top. Mm -hmm. It's very tricky. All right, and then ready. I'm going to pay one to keep Millennium Falcon in play okay. for now. So these all get readied, and it is my turn. Mm -hmm. So he's got three. Oof, that's tough. Three attack, four life. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
do I want to put one of these down? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put one of my space units down as a, okay. as a resource. All right. Then I'm going to play. So I could do two and two. No, I can't do that twice. All right. I'm going to use three. Re nope. Yeah. This is my first turn. Wait, let me think about this for a second. It's fine. This is where the order, like, I, I need to get better at thinking through the timing of things. Order like, of do operations. I want to attack your guy first to get him out so he can't attack me back first? No. Right? Like, no. Yeah, so, like, I'm going to... Oh, so if I, if I attack with him, he will kill me as well, right? Correct, yes. Versus you could attack me and not take any damage back. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Okay. So I'm going to take both of our guys out. Okay. That was my one action then. All right. Uh, my turn? Yeah. So I will spend two to play Patrolling V-Wing. <laughs> when played, uh, draw a card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play three um, to play Fleet Lieutenant. So when played, you may attack with a unit. If it's a rebel unit, it gets plus two. And I'm going to um, attack your base for three then. Three? All right, it's yeah. 27. <laughs> okay. My turn? Yeah. Millennium Falcon's going to deal three damage to your base. Three, okay. Man. There was like five seconds there where I was winning. Yeah. It felt yeah. so good. Yeah. I mean, you're not losing. It's just tied. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to use this action to give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. So I'm going to give R2 okay. a plus one, plus one experience. All right, cool. Son of a gun. Okay. So I did that the wrong way. Yeah, but you're Is learning. Is it good that I'm learning this? Yes. Like, well, I've talked so much about how, like, all right, I need to think through timing. It's all but right. The, the only right. way you're going to learn it is by doing yeah. it. Yeah. And the fact that you see it is the good okay. thing. So, okay. all right, my Enjoy turn? That. Yeah. I'm going to take initiative. There it goes. And then I am going to pass. Okay. All right. Control two cards. That's so funny. Put that in. Ready up. Uh, mm -hmm. I will keep one exhausted for the Millennium Falcon. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So he's staying out. These guys are ready now. One played. Okay, did that already. So they're both rebels. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay, my turn? Yeah. All right, I'm going to spend one to put the smuggling compartment on the Millennium Falcon attached to a vehicle unit. There's a vehicle. Yes. Uh, it gains on attack, ready a resource. Oh, that's nice. Okay. How much was that? Just one? It was one, and it gives a plus one, plus one stat. But okay. if I return to my hand, yeah. I think this actually gets thrown away. I don't think I get to return the upgrade. Okay. I'm going to use two um, to play Restore Arc. All right, and then I will use one to play the Jawa Scavenger. Uh, he is a saboteur, so when his unit attacks, ignores Sentinel and defeat mm. the animal, enemy okay. shields. So it pierces through your shield. All right. Basically. Okay. Um, so he only has one. Oh, that's helpful. All right, I'm going to attack with R2-D2 to um, get rid of this guy. All right, so I do two back to you. Yeah. Okay. And he's got five now. Okay. All right, so that was my action. Okay. Go, R2. Um, I will use another one to play Criminal Muscle. Put him in play. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I would be able to remove an upgrade or a non-unique oh, yeah. upgrade, but you don't have one. So. All right. All right, and then I'm going to um, All right, I'm going to attack with um, fleet lieutenant to your 
to your base for base. three. All right, so brings you down to 24. Yeah, all right, so it's your turn then. Deal one damage to your base. Four. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna play um, this last two for keep fighting to ready a unit with three or less power. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. All right, my turn. Yeah. So now you're thinking about, do you want to attack my base or do you want to get rid of that guy, right? That's why I was like, oh no, we're going to kill him after I readied him, but now he's like a threat. Like a yeah, bit of a threat. so it depends on what I want to do with that. Um, all right, now I'm going to attack your base for four and then okay. on attack, ready a resource. All right, so this goes up to eight. Mm -hmm. All right, so then I'm going to attack... So he does two, and you would do five, four damage back to, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna attack your base for two. two. So we'll restore one when this unit attacks, heal one damage from your base, so I go down to seven. Go. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh, I will take initiative. All right, and then I'm gonna play my last card, which is give an experience token each of up to three rebel units, which attacked. So all of these guys managed to attack this phase. Okay. That worked out perfectly. Mm-hmm, that was good. Okay. So now I need some more experience tokens. Well, this one you can just flip over, right? Oh, so, so he easy. gets... Oh, yeah, because he gets an extra one then. Yeah. Right? Okay, yeah, sure. so plus two, plus one. That's right. All right. One on there. All right. And then we draw two. So I would still die if you attacked me. That's annoying. Okay. I have no cards. Um, we'll keep Ooh, one exhausted. For all right, so him. these are all going exhausted. Uh, ready to... I am going to... That's a resource. Okay. All right. Did you do a resource if you wanted to do it? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm not going to. Okay. All right. So my turn. I'm going to use Hans's action to put a card from your hand into play as a resource and ready it. At the start of your next action phase to get rid of a resource. So Dang. Okay. We have a bunch. So you have six now. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do three of my resources. I can do this to any unit, right? Do you have four damage to a unit? So as I'm going to take out unit. your Millennium Falcon. God, oh, that feels okay. good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he is gone. Okay. Oh, that was a big one. It was a big one. All right, so now I am going to spend all my monies. Oh, no. Is it space? No. Oh, okay. Chewy. Oh, I love Chewy. So he is a sentinel, okay. so your ground units have to attack him. When this unit is attacked, you get to ready him. Dang, that's nice. Okay. He has six life. And I can do... Okay. You can do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> all right, your turn. Who do I want to give experience? So I'm going to use my last card. Well, and he has three back. Dying. Mm -hmm. When played, you may attack. Well, those are all when played. So he can do three. Ah, oh, they can both do close, but not quite enough. Three, four, five would be next time. And he would. Oh, he wouldn't take R2 out. Because R2 has six now health. And that guy's not a lot of threat up there. All right, I'm going to um, pay my last resource to give R2 another. Wait, he is, okay, so he has six. So Chewie would do three back, which would give him five. So even going up to seven isn't going to make a difference, actually. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to attack with R2 onto Chewie for three damage. Three damage yeah, and then. I deal three back. Yeah, so R2 now has five. That was and my you, action. And you can't do this on him. Why? Because you have three power now, right? Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. shoot, I can't do it to any of them. Yeah. No, I'm not going to be able to use that last resource. All right, so my turn. For too much power. Yeah. Oh, shoot, that's annoying. I'm just wasting a resource. Let's do... Let's 
All right. Criminal Muscle is going to take out R2-D2. Oh, good job. R2, you did so good. So nice I'm glad job. I didn't put that experience. Well, I guess I couldn't have, but. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oops. Oh, and he knocked him back out? Okay. Yeah, I only have one life. All right, I'm going to do... So now I could continue to attack you. You have to. But I would... You can't attack the base. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, so I would lose this guy then. Oh, that's annoying. Mm. Joey. Mm. Oh. Okay, so you didn't do your action. You didn't ready him. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah. Which was probably helpful for me. All Should right, I will it. attack him for four to get rid of him and then lose. Wait, oh no, I have four health, so he doesn't kill him. Oh, yay. Great. That's nice. So I do, th he did three damage, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So he's now exhausted. All right, your turn. All right, um, blah, 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 blah. I will deal one damage to your base. Okay. And then I will, so I have three and four. All right, I'm going to, oh, that's so much, so much attack for just a one little guy. I think I'm going to attack your base for three. Okay, you've done 19. And I will heal one from my base. So okay. I'm back to seven. All right, my turn. I'm yeah. going to use my epic action to flip over Han Solo. Oh, snap, one, two, I forgot three, about four, him. Five, six. And Han Solo now comes That was in. a really good use of that extra six, like those six, because yeah. I need to get rid of it, but. Yep. Hmm. Um, okay. So now it's my turn. I'm going to take initiative back. Okay. Ooh. And then, Bye, Fleet Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, but he's attacking for four, which stinks. But we will knock him out. He's going to deal four okay. back. All right. So uh, on attack, put the top card of your deck into play as a resource and ready it. At the start of the next action phase, defeat a resource you control. Um, okay. So that's going in, and then you're taking two out at the end of this phase? Just taking one, because that's the only text that's there. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, so you've got to keep one as a result. I am of that, plus basically. one now. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. nice. So okay, he's so out. he's gone. Yeah, that was an interesting turn. I feel like and then, that was like a big round. Yeah. All means. right. And then that's it for all okay. of us. All Are right. you done? All right. So I'm done. So I draw two. I have to during ready up get rid of one of these. Let's get rid of one, two, three. Dang. He already has four damage. He's not terribly. All right, I'm going to put open fire down. Which okay. is sad because I really like that card. So now, <laughs> let's talk through this again. If I were to smuggle this card in. Oh, then I have, but I have to use other resources for it. That's right. Nah, I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Yep. I'm going to attack um, your base for three okay. and heal one for mine. That's 16. All right, my turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to oh, spend one to, to put the adventure. Mining Guild TIE Fighter into play. Okay. All right, I'm going to spend two to put heroic renegade this unit gets plus one for each damage on it okay uh we'll spend two to put leia in yeah so exciting okay and then i'm gonna spend my last three to put in um, fleet lieutenant what ah oh, sugar i didn't do that correctly because hmm. <laughs> that that has to be a ready unit right Come on! I almost said my name like novels. <laughs> Not allowed to say my name. Thanks. So. Oh gosh, that's so annoying. I'm leaving points on the table. Yep. All right, you're done. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put in uh, work, work, war zone lieutenant. We both have zero cards right now. Mm -hmm. So this is now interesting because it all comes down to which cards we draw from this point on. Yeah. And like how we're able to use them because you can pick up like two one cost cards and leave so much on the table resource wise. Good. But yeah. This is kind of like where the luck comes in. All right, so it's my turn. I'm going to take initiative. Okay. So then I will now... Four, five, six. I will deal four damage to him. 
Okay. And knock him out, and then he's gonna knock me out. But on attack, put the top card of your deck into play. As that, he gets knocked out and exhausted. I can't believe I messed up that fleet lieutenant. And you know what's annoying is I, I put this guy, I put this guy in my hand because he's a rebel, and I knew I had a ton of rebel cards. Mm. So I thought about that when I built my deck. Didn't play it that way. <laughs> Sorry, I get really annoyed when I like make mistakes like that. No, that's no problem. Uh... All right. All right, and then my turn. Yeah, um, so you get to attack again. I'm going to attack your base for one. <laughs> my base has hovered between, like, seven and eight damage for so long. All right, so that's seven now. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. And then... I actually... Can I look at Ray really quick? Yeah, of course. Oh, my gosh. She's got a terrible attack. She's not a bad attack. All right. But she can heal a lot. All right, so then draw two cards and ready up. Ready. I have to now, when I ready him, okay. uh, at the start of your next action phase, defeat a resource you control. So that gets defeated. Okay. Jeez. Six. All right, I'm going to put Metal Ceremony into my, my deck. Okay. So I get to go first. All right, I'm going to use my epic action. Can I do it? Oh, I want to do it. <laughs> Look, she's even blue. So that was my first action. Nothing yet. All right, so I am going to attack your base for one. Okay. And on attack, you may spend, or you may... Oh, that's nice. Spend two resources. To you may pay two, two to draw, draw a card. card. That's a good one. Okay. All right. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to attack with her. Um, I'm going to attack Leia. Sorry. Alright, so it's two damage back to you. So I get to restore three. So that would be from my base, right? Mm -hmm. So that goes up to five. And then on attack, you may give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. So I'm going to do that to this guy. Okay. Cool. But that was my... Oh my gosh, Thank I you. have so many resources. All right, I'm okay, gonna any of them. spend two to play Leia. When played, oh either God. ready or <laughs> a resource or exhaust a unit, I'm gonna exhaust this unit. You had three Leias in your deck? And all of them came up after like 20 cards? Yep. Gotta love Stack it. Stack the Leias. Stack okay. the Leias. So your turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play... Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to use my just two of these. Oh, I can play my Smuggler's Aid. Oh, that's kind of helpful, actually. So so this was two cost. Mm -hmm. um, it says, while there are at least three aspects among other friendly units, this unit cannot be attacked. So, uh, like, one, two, three? Is that how that works? Yeah, I assume so. So you cannot attack this unit, basically. All right, well, at least... Um, this unit cannot be attacked unless you gain Sentinel, which makes sense. Okay. Oh, because then you would have to attack yeah, first. Yeah, because then you have to. Okay. okay. Interesting. Cool. And that was my action. That was your action. All right. So then I'm going to spend two to play the patrolling oh, no. V-Wing. Come on. And I get to draw space. a card. And you know what's annoying is I already used my one, like, deal four damage anywhere card. Yeah. And I used the other one as a freaking resource. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay. All your right, turn. Do I want to take... They all have such low amount that it's like i don't want to use yeah but now all three of them combined could do the damage of that do three one three damage yeah. yeah so it's like i'm but i can heal one yeah it's tough um tough decisions yeah they're all attacking me for one on attack oh that can let you draw a card mm -hmm. did you draw the card from that one when played yep okay yeah i got it all right i'll attack um him to get rid of this one then which one? This one? This one, yeah. Right. So he did two damage back. One. Yeah, there's one. Oh, that's right. Okay. What a waste. All right, my turn? Yep. All right, I'm going to deal two damage to your base. Okay, so that goes up to three. Okay, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to attempt to smuggle. Okay. So if you play the... Okay. So basically I'm using these three cards to smuggle this card. 
So if this card is a resource, you may pay it, play it for its smuggle cost. Replace it with the top card of your deck. That's exhausted. No, it's C-3PO! C-3 Gano. <laughs> no, he's just a resource. All right, yeah. so I heal three damage from my base. All right. And that's, yeah, that's it. That's that? Okay. All right, I'll deal one damage to your base then. God, it's like never ending. I know. I'll take initiative then. All right, keep it. I am done as well. What do you think so far? Uh, I don't have enough attack. That's my issue with my mm. deck right now. Yeah, you've had a lot of low ones, you're right. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm a little worried about my the space situation, but thankfully you're you don't have you haven't gotten lucky enough to play a big one. Okay, mm -hmm. so we draw two cards. I have no way to get more cards. Jesus. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm gonna leave. Um, keep these two cards you have seven resources that's insane yeah i can't even use all my resources okay oh and i can't use that thing because she's not bad yet okay uh so you start <laughs> yeah all right how are you doing how do you feel about your deck i mean the fact that we're this many rounds in and like i'm still hanging on feels great well you're winning yeah yeah. So I'm trying not to think about that too much, no, but like fair. I'm tentatively <laughs> excited, which if for me means like I'm losing my mind yeah. internally, <laughs> and I'm terrified that I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> okay, so so he can't be attacked. Um. So like, question. Right, All right but so, if you attack me, I'll do damage back. Yeah. So like, if if I'm thinking about this theoretically, like it makes sense for him to attack your base. Because I'm not getting any damage back, and I know you can't attack him. So I want to leave him out there sure. attacking your yeah. base like, as much as possible. All right, so I'm going to attack your base for two. And it says, you may on attack, you may deal one damage to the defender or to a base. So it has to be a base. Oh, oh okay. So I would... So, so that would be helpful for a three-cost person, but not yeah. necessarily... Okay. That was my first action. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is Han Solo. Put a top card... Or put a card from your hand into play as a resource and ready. Oh, no. Do you have a... You have a big one. <laughs> I'm, this is why I'm scared. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. like it. <laughs> it might not be. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Your turn. All right, I'm going to use four resources to play General Dodonna, Dodonna, which gives every other friendly rebel unit a plus one, plus one stat line, okay. which is two of them. Yep. And that's it for now. Yeah, my turn. Yeah. We're going to exhaust eight. <laughs> oh, no. To play the reinforcement oh, walker. That's a cool one. Look at the top card of your deck on play and then on attack also. Either draw oh, wow. it or discard it to heal three damage from your base. Oh, stop. Or discard it to heal three damage that's from your base. That's insane. So back right, up so to I gotta 16. take him out fast. All right, how much damage can I do? Hopefully Who is your daddy and what does he do? Because I have nine mm -hmm. life on him with six attack. I know, that's insane. Oh, so he's just gonna take out everything that he. Pew, pew. Like, what do pew, I do? Pew. I don't know, you get a bunch of those Ewok things and, like, throw sticks at it. I think that's how they beat it last time. Jesus. Okay. So right now, Rebel has plus one, which does not help me almost at all. He would even kill her to start doing damage. Yikes. This is not great. Okay. Pew, um, pew, pew, pew. I'm going to play... She'd be able to attack twice still. What do I want to give this plus three to? I'm going to give it to her as my one additional she has three resource. more life? Okay. Yeah. So she's going to attack. Um, well, you, you first oh, just gave her. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, so my turn. Um, let's do. You got one on. I'm going to deal two damage to your base. All right, so that goes up to three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now it's my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I'm going to attack this guy. For how much? Two. For two. Okay, I deal six back. No biggie. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> That's an insane card. All right, so uh, one attack. <laughs> you, wait, on attack, you may give an experience token to a unit with two or less power. Oh, do I not? Oh, so I can give it to him, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm desperately gonna need this. Um, and then I restore three from my base. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six, 
Uh, it's a mine. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna deal two damage to your base. Okay. Take down those spice mines. He doesn't have any damage yet. He can't attack. He can't do any more damage to this guy. So if he does three, that would bring you up to five. God. Oh, I could do that with him. Okay, um, all right. Sorry, heroic renegade. We're gonna attack three to there. Okay. That knocks him out Two, big three. time. Okay. Big time. All right, um, I'm gonna deal a damage to your base. Is that gonna, are you gonna do that? Well, you're right, I gotta do it one by one. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you have to do one by one. Yeah. Okay, your turn. I'm gonna to attack your base, right, for three. Three. And then three, two, when this unit attacks, heal one. Mm -hmm. So that goes back down to two. Right, hold on to it, because then that's going to be a so one. So it stays at three. Okay. Yep. And then it's your and turn. that's my turn. Yes. And I have nothing else readied. So I'm going to keep initiative. Then I am done as well. And I'm going to take out your freaking... We'll see. Good feel. Can you feel that? I got two one-cost cards. <laughs> that's right, terrible. One of those. Jeez. All right, that's super annoying. Two, three. All right. Okay, so. Currently he has five. Four, five, so he's got four life left. Yeah, okay. So the question is, oh shoot, this guy was supposed to do four damage to your base. You're like, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. So sorry to hear you. You, didn't let you me missed get away that. With it last time, that's so. a bummer. <laughs> I know. That's fine. That's fair. Got to play the right way. So it's a question like, do I want to? Oh no, because she would only do two damage. So he could, she could kill him, or he could kill him. Who do I want to keep more? That is the question. I don't really have rebel units. Oh God, this just. Oh, I do. All right, I need to take out your guy first. I know, I'm, I'm trying to decide who I want to get rid of. Because <laughs> they're both like the same stat line right now. But I like you can't attack her. All right, I'm going to do it with General Dodonna. I'm going to attack for four. Okay. And he so, dies. Um, he dies. And Sad. he dies. Everyone dead. All right, go ahead. All right, so what we'll oh, do... God, I'm so scared. <laughs> We'll do one, two, three, four to play uh, my guards, who I have another unit, so uh, he gains so Sentinel. He gains Sentinel, okay. Yeah. Left. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Um, right, we're going to try this out. I just have two, like an event and an upgrade. <laughs> it's just so stupid. We're gonna play one, so I get to choose a player. That player discards a card from their hand. Okay, chopper. And then if you control a force unit, mm -hmm. you may deal damage to a unit equal to the cost of that discarded card. It's one. One, great. Where would you like to do Where your would element? I like to do the damage? Um, I mean, I'll do it on that guy. Okay. All right, my turn? <laughs> yeah. All right, so what do we got? Yeah. Six. She's got three more life. Um, I'm gonna exhaust two to do a surprise attack with the Warzone Lieutenant. He's gonna do five damage onto Ray. Okay, so she dies. She dies, and she does two back, which knocks out the Lieutenant. And so, like, the restore only happens when she's attacks. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so this one, she's just regular again. She's and regular, and she's exhausted. Resilient goes away, so I can't do her action. That's yeah. annoying. Okay. That's a problem. Oh, no, I don't have anything I could do that with anyway. All right. Then in that case, um, might as well play this card for one. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll put it up here. So attach unit gains sentinel. Okay. You're going to have to start taking me out. <laughs> yeah. All right. My turn? <sighs> yeah. And Come. deal two damage to your base. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. 
No, wait. Yeah, so nine in total, so I want to make a five. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. This guy hasn't been exhausted yet, right? Okay. So he'll do three damage to your base. Okay, down to ten. Mm -hmm. uh, I will deal one damage to your ship. So that knocks my ass. Okay, so that's one. two. Mm -hmm. He has five total life. All right, I will exhaust that to do four damage. So I'm down to six life. You have to kill one from your base. Thank you. No. So Just good. change the four to three. Oh, boy. Okay. And then I will deal one damage to that guy. So that goes up to three. Okay, so that's all. two life left. Okay. Your I turn? am going to take initiative. All right. And ready up. Yeah. Or I don't ready to draw. Oh, thank God. Okay. So I go first. These guys are ready. All right. I'm going to pay um, one, two, three, four, five costs to play the snow speeder. And that mm -hmm. has ambush. So that means I can. What does that mean? Pretty sure it just comes into play, right? After you play this unit, it may ready and attack an enemy unit. So it can attack right now? It has to. It has to. Either, it either comes in exhausted or it has to attack right now. Oh, okay. You have to attack a sentinel, so. Okay, so I will attack him for three? Uh, yeah, and I hit and back for four. For four, okay. Oh, that was weird. Now he's exhausted. Because he attacked, yeah. Okay. All right, All right. that was my first action. All right, um, we're going to put one and put the cartel turn code in. It does have a bounty on it, so you would draw a card. When this unit is defeated or captured, your opponent collects its bounty. Oh, so if I defeat that, I get to draw a card? Yes. Oh, that's fine. But it is a 2-3 card, so it's a little bit stronger for a one-cost yeah. card. Hmm. Okay, your turn. So, like, okay. Hmm. I want to like keep playing, but I I can win. Yeah, I would just go win. <sighs> okay, fine. All right, two, three, four. Yep. To your base. That was my action. I'm done two. I'll yeah. just attack your base for two. Let's yeah, say it brings it to the ten. ten. And then I attack for three. And then that's it. And you won. Good job. Novel's deck, baby. Yeah, that was good. Oh, I needed more expensive cards. Dang. <sighs> you just didn't draw any of your expensive cards. You had. Like, if you would have drawn another seven or eight cost card, like, you, I would have been done for. Yeah. What yeah. did I have coming up? I think I need I need to take out a couple of cheap ones. I had another wing leader. That would have been nice. But, yeah. This card, man. That was good. That, it's all about the, the base. The restore. I was able to the, heal. I mean, yeah. I would have been down close to probably, like, ten or, like, I healed a 20 yeah. probably over the course of that game. You like, that was lot. insane. Yeah, you healed a lot. I nice. really like Ray as a um as a hero yeah this action didn't feel as helpful for you it was you weren't getting enough like resources or card high and high draw cards well that's the problem i i think for this deck what i have to do to, to re mess it around yeah. is take out like probably about three one cost cards okay and then put in like five or sixes yeah. out of that and see how that does but i mean it was fine for the first time building i mean yeah it wasn't like terribly upset with it just this was probably you know. one of the like i know it didn't end up being close but we had some rounds where we did a lot mm -hmm. yeah yeah it played it played pretty well um i feel like we got the pretty good hang of it you know pretty yeah fast, so no it was it was solid <laughs> Novels like Swoo again. All right, so if you enjoyed this gameplay, do us a huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, I mean, if you have deck building tips, I mean, we'll, we yes. take that. Yeah, so. we want to hear them. Yeah, we for sure take that. Anything to help us uh, do it. But yeah, we're definitely going to be doing more of this because for sure, it's still a really good game and whatnot. And maybe we'll tweak the decks and just play again, play again soon. Who knows? We'll see. So anyway, appreciate y'all being here. See you all next time. Bye.